All right, man. Well, give me an idea what the, what the feels like for you, man. This, this UFC ride is happening pretty quick for you, man. What's, yes, sir. What's, what's, what's the emotions like for you right now? Uh, just excited, anxious to get in the cage and do what I do best and shine bright and win. And really, I want to see how big, like, how many people are gonna like fill the seats? Cause I want to hear like that roar. I want to I want to feel everything. So I'm excited for that. Well, I can tell you the Australians they usually get there pretty early in the day. Yes, yeah, so I'm excited. And the arena gets pretty loud. Yes, I want I want all of it. Very nice. This fight got uh, announced at least publicly pretty late. Uh, did you know about it for a while, or, or uh, who, who when did you know that it came together? Tell the truth, I don't remember, man. You know, I, I'm hungry, I'm tired, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so memory is, is is not my forte right now. Um, I, f I think it was it was a mixture of a couple of people that was supposed to I was supposed to be going against some guys didn't want to go against me, and you know so I just got this dumb young Ma guy and you know it's just another fight for me so just another <laughs> obstacle and I don't know I I don't know truthfully <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess the big thing is that you know it, it's not really later I mean were you training like were you, you yeah were you preparing and you kind of knew like this date was in mind it was just the matchup itself no uh, truthfully I just come out to uh, Denver just to stay sharp and just train just to train and uh, I got the opportunity and I took it interesting so there was a number of guys this is the name that came up was was it a name you picked or is this the name they gave you? How, how was this the one that came together? Uh, it was the name they gave me once I found out a certain person didn't want to go. And, um, you know, my coaches and my uh, management staff, they all thought it was a good fight for me to take. And, you know, I was already being out in Colorado for like two, maybe close to three months. I didn't want to go home with no, with no bread. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Let me get this fight in. So I ain't really care. I just see it as another opportunity to get closer to what I want. Nice. You willing to say who the person was that wouldn't go? Can't even do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Well, this matchup came together. Uh, did you know about him? Obviously, his, his name changed or whatever. Yeah. Did that make it hard to find him? Or were you... <laughs> Man, I, at first, I thought it was a Don, Don Young Kim. Right. The welterweight. The, the other one? Yeah. And I was like, you know, so I called my manager and my coach. Like, hey, what is your own? Like, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a strong dude, but y'all understand this dude is like he fought Tywon Woodley. You know he uh, he he's a 170. I'm like if he come down to 155, he about to be like 190. Right. And then my coach he called me. He was like you know calm down, calm down. It's another one that they have the same name. He's like look up Maestro. And then when I looked up Maestro, I'm like oh okay, my bad. You know, you know, so <laughs> from there you know uh, I looked him over. I uh, seen a couple, seen a couple of flaws. I seen a couple of things he likes to do, and you know, uh, I believe in myself that much. And you know, it's I'm in that position where I just got to take these fights that they give me. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, even if they said it was a bad matchup, anybody you put in front of me, I will beat. Yeah, fair enough. I guess early on you don't get to you don't get yeah, to pick the good ones, right? Exactly. Take what you get. Uh, when you looked at see, I mean, he's been in some scraps, he's been in some brawls, that's what they mean. When you broke him down, like, did you like what you see? Did you say, hey, this this should be fun? Or was it, did you say, oh, man, I, this sucks, but I'm going to have to get through it? What did you think about his style? Uh, he likes he likes to brawl, but that's only because if you brawl with him. You know, uh, if you like to point fight, he'll point fight with you. If you catch him with something, he'll turn up for a little bit. But I didn't really see anything too dangerous. I mean, I'm not saying that he can't, you know, do what he do, but I, I can get over that obstacle. So it's just another day, and I'm gonna just go in there and do what I do. Very nice. You set a high standard for yourself in your debut, right? I mean, it's uh, it's kind of tough to top that. Right. I don't really look to top it. You know, <laughs> I just go in there to fight. You know, when I fought, you know, it's not about Julian Rosa, but when I did fight Julian Rosa. You know, I didn't know it was going to end in 46 seconds. I just seen the opportunity to strike, and bing, bing, he fell down. And everybody started screaming. I thought, time to go home. So if I do see the opportunity to take on an even earlier uh, time frame, I'm going to take it. But if it takes a little longer, it just takes a little longer. But the end result will be the same, and I will end up on top, and I will win. Was coming out this far for a fight? Was it a concern of yours? You know, the, the time change, the travel, all that. No, I mean a lot of people asked me if it was going to be, and I was like, I never really went through this before, so I was going to take this experience and move on with it. Um, no, not really. I was actually just excited to be out of the out of the states and in a whole another continent or country or whatever you want to call it. But uh, I've never been to Australia before, and I mean it's beautiful out here. Truthfully, 
I just can't wait to really see it and enjoy it and then eat and indulge in all the foods uh, after this win. You know, I'm gonna chill out here for like two more days, so I'm gonna really take it off. Very nice, very nice. Well, listen, I mean, like I said, it's been a fast ride. I mean, you weren't in the UFC, then you came in, made a huge splash. This could be another big step. Give me an idea of what kind of what the goals are. You said you know you're not calling out people. You're not you know you got to take what you get. But I mean, what what do you want to accomplish this year? Uh, this year I want to be I would say top 15, but you know shoot high top 10. Um, and you know, keep constantly work learning, you know, because the number one goal is to become UFC champion and bring that belt back to Cleveland, Ohio. Um, yeah. No doubt, this will be a big step, man. How, how do you, uh, how do you get this one done, man? When you play this one out in your head, how does this one go? Uh, being smart, uh, and not fighting with emotions. Um, I mean, I've, I've tr I trained with Factory X and I train for anything that he brings me, uh, brings to me, whether it's, you know, Cage work, uh, take down, jujitsu, wrestling, stand up. I, I I know I got a lot better boxing than a lot of lightweights out there. So if he wants to point fight in boxing, that's the dangerous thing on his end. But um, win. <laughs> I don't really. I don't go for the unanimous, the KO, the TKO. I go for the win. I go for the win.